When Vladimir Vubitsky arrived in Perth more than 20 years ago, it was love at first sight. The Russian-born composer was touring Australia with the USSR Symphony Orchestra at the time. We arrived first city to Australia in 1986 to Perth. It was absolutely incredible. Everything different. Before long, Mr. Verbitsky had developed a special relationship with the West Australian Symphony Orchestra, which he guest conducted for many years, before being honoured with the title of Conductor Laureate in 1997. I love this orchestra. It's a part of my life. It's part of my life. It's part of my heart. My heart is here. The orchestra showed its appreciation in return, with Mr. Verbitsky conferred Australian citizenship at the conclusion of a special evening of Russian music at the Perth Concert Hall. And whose laws I will uphold and obey. The audience and orchestra joined together in a stirring rendition of the national anthem. While Mr. Verbitsky temporarily swapped his baton for a cricket bat in honour of the occasion. Minister for Immigration and Citizenship, Senator Chris Evans, said this is by far the best part of his job. It's a demonstration of how the country comes together. We are a diverse uh, people, we come from all over the world, and it's important that we have a, a focus for how Australians can come together, what it means to be Australian, and how we can build our community and our society. Orchestra members also enjoyed the opportunity to celebrate this very special event with one of their favourite conductors. Principal bass clarinetist Alex Miller has worked with Vladimir Verbitsky for 20 years. He is the most passionate, um, humorous, friendly, uh, effusive man. He's um, just a joy to work with. Every concert uh, is, is just imbued with the passion. The citizenship ceremony, a fitting way to recognise Mr Verbitsky's service to the orchestra as well as his contributions to music in Western Australia. It's a very warm relationship that our orchestra shares with him and that's why uh, we've shared that relationship with him for such a long time. And to kind of honour that tonight with a ceremony where he is uh, pronounced as an Australian citizen is um, a reflection of that commitment that he's had to us and, and that we've had to him. And there seems little doubt that that special relationship will continue for many years to come.